Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and recently I've gotten lots of questions on this tutorial I did, Drag and Drop in Edge Animate. So, you, so this is basically a follow-up to this tutorial where you learned how to just do a simple drag and drop. Now when I drop on these eyes on the target area, they blink. But how do you drag and drop other items? And even how can you get it to maybe snap into place or maybe snap back to where it was? So this is a couple things I want to do. And also I want to make it touch enabled for mobile devices. All right, so here I am in this project, this drag to. And uh, here's the eyes that I want to drop right over here. And what I have going on over here actually is I have some, uh, basically some divs. So just some boxes that I'm going to use as the hit area, okay? So when I drop these eyes right here on this eye area, that's when I want uh, the eyes to stay there and, and, and blink. All right. In fact, um, I also want these eyes, if I don't drop them right here on the this target, I want them to snap back into place. So that's why I have uh, this item. So I have one item called default eyes, then I have my eyes, and then I have this target eyes. All right. So that's how this file is set up. And the same goes for all of these various shapes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code. As I go in here, right here, I'm going to open up the actions for my stage layer, which on creation complete, uh, this various work happens. Okay, and this is all covered in the previous tutorial. And uh, the first thing I want to do is when it's draggable, I want to uh, just go ahead and create a couple properties that uh, change the opacity for one. I thought that would be kind of fun just to have it change its opacity to maybe 50%, just 0.5. I'll do a comma, and then revert is really what I want to do. I want to say revert uh, invalid. So uh, don't revert back to the initial spot if you actually drop it on the target eyes. But this will basically make it snap back into place, and this will give it an opacity of 50%. So I'm going to save that and just do a command enter. And as I move these eyes around, you can see them snap back into place just like that. All right. In fact, as I drop them right here, you can see what that does is the eyes actually um, um, show that they are right there. And if I pull them off, you kind of have this issue. And really, I don't want this to happen. I want this to actually, I want to be able to put the eyes back here. All right. So that's the issue I need to fix now, now that I have that animation going on. So back in here in Edge Animate, going back into my JavaScript right here, I can start to work on this code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to format this a little better because there's a lot going on in here. I can say, hey, on drop, do this particular function. Okay, so I'm just going to put a couple spaces in here just so this looks a little like it's easier to read. And on droppable, go ahead and drop and play the eyes. But I want to throw a little flag in here and I'm just going to say on accept. It's only going to accept the eyes. But again, I'm just formatting this because overall what I need to do is I actually need to add another uh, droppable element. Okay, so I'm actually going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right below. And at this point, what I want to do is I want to make the default eyes, when you drop it onto the default eyes, go ahead and sure you can play it. At this point, I don't want to play the eyes, but basically when, it, uh, when you are touching this default eyes right here, this shape right here, when you touch it, that's when it should not uh, sort of snap back to the head over here. All right, so that's what I want to do. Uh, default eyes. It's going to accept that same uh, that same um, symbol, and it's just going to uh, use that drop function just like that. All right, so that's easier to read. I will save that. Command Enter, and as I move this over here again, it'll snap back into place, which is what I want. But if I grab it, put it right here. Perfect. If I drag it off, it'll still snap right there, but if I put them right over here, back in its place, that's going to work out fine. 
Now there are other ways to do this, uh, like getting the initial position and then resetting to the initial position, but to be honest with you, I want to make this as easy on you as possible, which is what I just did. Just make, made this nice and simple. I have basically two hit areas, the default and then the target. So I can start to do the same thing for uh, these other objects. Again, for the mouth, for the mustache, for the ears. All right, so going through here, I want to do the same thing. So what do I do? Well, let's just take this chunk of code right here, copy it, paste it beneath, and let's change eyes to mouth. Making sure everything is spelled correctly. Even if you have a misspelling, as long as you consistently uh, misspell, you should be good to go. And that's what I've done. I'll do the same thing a couple more times for these other objects. Pasting that in. Uh, mustache. Again, that's the shape. That's the, the symbol. And this is a word that I had to double check to make sure I was spelling correctly. But nonetheless, I'm making sure the target is called mustache and the default is called default mustache. Okay, target mustache, default mustache. All right, one more time. We will do this uh, one more time for the ears. It's that simple. And it's nice once you have the code written once, it's just a matter of duplicating it. All right, there we have it. Uh, saving that, just double checking. Here I have my ears. There's that shape behind it called default ears. And if I would have, if I'd have named uh, my symbols all correctly, they should all drag and drop just fine. And over here, if I drag it to the mouth, you'll see target mouth, target mustache, target eyes, target ears. But I'd say that looks pretty good. Last thing I need to do is just for these hit areas, since I know they're there, I can go ahead and just bring down the opacity so they are invisible and I can go ahead and run this one more time. But at this point, since I have this working, and you can think of many uses for this, whether it's a, a game or some sort of trivia, you now have control over your shapes, and I can add some variables in here. Uh, but really, I want to make sure uh, that this works on mobile devices as well. Well, that's when I want to show you a couple things. First of all, just keep in mind, if you go to uh, the API jQueryUI.com draggable, you can see all uh, the interactions you can do with draggable, as well as droppable is in here as well. But what I wanted to point out is jQuery UI. Uh, touch punch. Okay, so the jQuery UI components, the JavaScript doesn't have anything for touch events. So somebody's actually written this jQuery UI touch punch. And it's really easy to use. In fact, all you have to do inc is include it. It tells you how to do it right here. In fact, it tells me right here jQuery UI touch punch min JS. All right, so I would download that from here and uh, put it in the same location as my uh, edge animate file. And you'll see right in here jQuery UI touch punch is already in this particular folder. So all I need to do is go in to my file into this code right up here at the top and I need to add that right in. Just adding it in the yep nope script adding touch punch. Okay, there we are. With that done, I can save it and now I can run it, but I not only want to uh, run it, as you can see in my browser on my desktop, but I want to go ahead and test this out on my mobile device. So you can do this right now. Uh, just go to paultranny.com, files, you'll see drag, and that's the URL I'm gonna go to right now on my mobile device. All right, here it is uh, on my mobile device. I'm just using this desktop app called Reflector. You can see I have that same URL. You can punch that in. But from there, on my iPhone, iPad, Android device, I can take and just drag and drop on, again, the mouth, the ears, all of the elements that I've implemented, including that mustache. All right, there you have it. Hopefully that has answered your questions and you've enjoyed this. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Paul Tranny.